Hey, Stefan here for Poker Code, and uh, I want to take a deeper look into a crazy hand I found. We want to take a look into Mastermind's Rui Cow's hat here and see a little what happened or might have happened in this crazy hand. And there's me, so you're yeah. not too bad. <laughs> and there's me too, and everybody knows me that is like meat. Yeah. Is it? No. 3-6. Why do you have so many hands? Why are you always ruined? Tom can win this hand with seven deuce. Yeah, now I have many fans. Ten gay bounty from everyone. Nah, I win one title. Wait, 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 he didn't even go yet. I won. Yeah. Oh, everybody's drunk now. Okay. Yes. First right on title. No shit. Yeah. But it's my fourth right on. Three bet and a call. Pre-flop, we have the following action. Tom Duan open raises from the cutoff, uh, three times the straddle of super standard uh, with seven deuce off. So I'm assuming they play a special seven deuce off game. And uh, Rui Kao decided to uh, three bet his seven eight off suit on the button, playing his position uh, with a kind of standard size uh, with uh, everyone else folding. But um, yeah, Tom taking his chances with seven deuce off and see a flop and take a chance to outplay Rui. So let's see a flop. Yeah, but uh, wow. it's I would have, you know, I would have thought you had. <laughs> I would have thought you had. People want to become like me, businessman yeah. winning a title. Of course, of course. 30k C bet from Rui Cow. Tom with just a seven deuce. Has not laid it down yet. So you think about making a move because Rui Cow plays every single hand? From Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. Thailand, I need that, I need that. Malaysia. I need that. Hey, Malaysia goes good. I think we should start playing short deck. Okay. Huh? I start. Yeah. How about we swap? Okay. I mean, you, you teach me. No, we're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey. Every day in our game, I'm okay. not letting him improve. L I mean. <laughs> A raise to 126,000 euro with seven deuce, ready to show everyone. <laughs> Maybe not, he's thinking. If he can take I mean, this down. Maybe. But Rui Cow has not folded yet. Losing. Is he wondering why Tom would raise on the Ace Crew 5 rainbow? Instead of trying to slow play against... Oh my god, he's calling with eight high. Obviously the flop doesn't help either one of those with the ace of diamonds, queen of spades and five of hearts. So how do rangers play here? I guess uh, Tom has a pretty clear uh, check to start with his whole range, the seven deuce off kind of the, the special one in, in there uh, given that specific game. Yeah, it's, it's tough to comment actually on like pre-flop ranges in crazy games like that. So Rui's 7-8 offsuit, definitely not standard, uh, but playing his position with a deep stack can be cool, obviously. But for everything that should belong in his range, Ace-Queen-5 is obviously a perfect board to keep up the aggression, use a small bet size to attack every no-hit that uh, Tom has in his range, especially low and medium pocket pairs, and already starting to, to put some pressure on something like Pocket jacks, pocket tens, queen x, king jack, king ten, jack ten hands like that. And just preparing some further aggression on later streets, depending on how the board runs out. Killing those pocket pairs uh, or making them fold, let's say. Um, lots of turn cards will be a brick, which is actually good for Rui holding all the ace queens, ace kings, pocket queens, aces in theory. So Rui goes for, for a small bet here and... Uh, Tom decides to fast play his seven deuce offsuit here and goes for the check raise, followed up by a call by Rui Kao. Where is that coming from? We have seen some crazy action on the flop. Standard C bet followed up by a seven deuce off fast play here on ace queen five rainbow. So now we want to take a deeper look into Rui's mind here. He is obviously sitting there with nothing, nothing. And most of us would probably not even think about calling or raising for a second. So where is that thought coming from to end up calling here? It's tough to guess, obviously, but there's there's certain stuff going on that 
Rui definitely has the stronger range overall here. There are two more streets to be played. I personally call that uh, thinking about returning streams, thinking about where the money comes from to, to get that, to make investments like that, calling that check raise. We absolutely have to take that into account. And I think that uh, Rui's plan here is obviously to take away the pot on a later street, not hoping for the best, but just assuming that uh, Tom gives up his bluffs at some point. He's kind of playing against bluffs and guesses a little about Tom's betting frequencies on turn and river and the check folds that he can get once checked to him. It will be a little easier on the turn where I will give you a little uh, the math behind it. But now let's first see a turn. I don't understand. And the turn is an ace. I have to play tank. <laughs> no flush draw. How much? One, two, three. Yeah, technically, it could 400. be like 27 versus 27. Yeah, ball. 130. You have about 500. 400,000 behind. One, about two, a bit less three, than four. Four. 400. Wait, 400? A little bit less is what you say. Can Tom find a bet? Mm. Or just seven deuce on this board that is supposed to hit the three better. Better, better structure here. Oh, structure. Ooh, really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I go to sleep. Oh my, he's I'm reaching shooting. for chips. Huh? I'm shooting all in. <clears throat> I'll turn this aside to do, to do a few all in. Do a few all in? Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying. I just need a couple of two sevens, you know? Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have four the two seven. <laughs> yeah, you said that already. <laughs> it's, okay. it's actually okay not to play it. It's not, it's not yeah. that big a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> Under the gun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Half pot bet. And Rui Cal calls of 8 7 high. <laughs> so the turn is a very interesting card here with the Ace of Clubs. What happened to both players' ranges? Tom Duan represented strength on the flop, which means, well, he can have pocket five, so he can have ace queen, maybe even fast playing an ace like ace jack. Trapping ace king pre flop, I doubt that. At like ace 10 suited check raise would be, I don't know, pretty close. And then followed up with uh, with bluffs that can be another low pocket pair, um, having two outs to hit a, to hit a set, or the gut shots like Jack Ten suited, King Jack suited, King Ten suited. Those should be the theory bluffs on boards like that. Now, what happens to his range? All the bluffs did not improve, and actually his value part got decreased, right? If if he had some ace queens, well, it's now less combinations of ace queens. So relatively, the ratio of his bluffs compared to his value just went up through this card. What should theory tell us? He needs to give up a lot on that turn. Apparently, he sits here with seven dues off. Tom Duan decides to bet about half pot 160,000 euros into a pot of 325,000 euros, putting Rui into a tough spot. He ends up calling with eight high. And now is the time where I actually want to look a little into the numbers of what the goal of Rui Kao's call might be here and how he has to be thinking about river play to um, make that actually a positive investment of a turn bet instead of a crazy eight high call. All right, here's all the parameters we need. We have a turn bet of 160,000 euros into a pot of 325,000 euros. This would, if Rui calls, build a river pot of 655,000. And very important here is the actual tiny stack left then compared to the pot. So just 239,000 euros left to eventually take down that 655,000 euro pot. What has to be going through Rui's mind is how often is Tom Duan bluffing and actually giving up? He won't call with eight high. I highly doubt that. So he's calling to receive that give up check of Tom Duan. There are mainly two things we need to take a look at. On the top of that table, it is Tom's river betting frequency. Assuming that Rui is never calling eight high. The numbers show the EV marked for negative in red 
and uh, a positive in green. And we already see, okay, if Tom is betting the river 100% of the time, your call on the turn will burn 160,000 euros. Kind of obviously, this is what he invested. But on the left side, what we need as well is how often does Tom fold after he checks the river? This is the other number. How often does he have value and actually trap checks the river? which after taking such an aggressive polarizing line is usually a very, very high number. So those are the two numbers. And maybe this is a little job for you. What do you guess? How often is Tom actually going all the way with his bluffs? How often is he checking his nuts on the river? I'm very sure I wouldn't call it high, but still, if I have to guess, I think Tom is betting less than 70% frequency on the river. And whenever he's checking, I think he's almost always folding. And with these per parameters that give Rui actually a very cheap river bet to steal that huge pot that just drives his EV if Tom's river betting frequency is not ridiculously high. So we see that actually once Tom starts checking and giving up the river sometimes to then fold, Rui's call can be printing. So you can find your personal number here and we'll just see the action and see how it went. And he's yeah, gonna steal it from him. Yeah, is he investing like 400k <laughs> to win seven? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It can work. <laughs> it's just the one. Free flop is a little scary. 655,000 euro in the middle. One's got seven deuce, one's got eight high, who's floated the flop and floated the turn. Every other minute we have to Oh man. So you know? can oh. stop. Now it's starting to get tense in here as they realize what's going on at the table. Can Tom fire one more time? He gives up, gives the pot to Rui Cow. Double checks the cards. This is the craziest hand I've ever seen. He goes all in. Two seven. Still seven, oh right? God. Yeah. Why did you check then? And you because he snap called me if I show. Queen dead. Queen net. Fuck you! I know you had your seven. Let's go. You, you show my card. He has a seven. Oh my god. I know. I know. You are fucking eight high. I, I you show. I swear to God, I called. I swear, I swear to God, I show. I called. <laughs> All right, mastermind Rui Kao's plan worked out and he even got to show his eight high after Tom tabled seven deuce off suit. What a show here. I enjoyed that a lot to take a little deeper look at how this can be a profitable play by a great, great player. Let me know in the comments how you like that format. How do you like the deeper look into a hand like that? And uh, yeah, until the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support the channel and stay always up to date, then leave a subscribe here or check out our next video.